This video describes a poster being presented at the 2012 fall meeting of the American Geophysical Union in San Francisco as part of a session on geologic maps. It would prove difficult to convey all the information of a geologic map in a few minutes. Instead, this video describes radiometric ages obtained as part of the mapping. These ages are nearly the first from rocks on or immediately adjacent to the volcano, preceded only by an age published in 1973 from a whole rock sample whose location is poorly described. Odonyo Lingai is a tall stratovolcano located where the East African Rift crosses northern Tanzania. The volcano towers 2,000 meters above the adjacent plain. The upper part of the cone is as steep as or steeper than the angle of repose, made possible by the rapid cementation of its volcanoclastic layers. Odonyo Lingai is famous for its eruptions of carbonatite lava flows, the only volcano in the world that has done so in my lifetime. But regardless of that claim to fame, it produces chiefly silicate volcanic rocks with nephronite and phonolite, the most common products. Carbonatite forms less than 1% of the cone. Let's get to it. This oblique photo shows two sample locations. Using the Argon 4039 isotopic method, we successfully dated the potassium feldspar sanidine from a phonolytic lava flow on the southeast flank, age 338,000 years. Another age came from a tuff ring just 1.5 kilometers to the north, also on the southeast flank. The age is 353,000 years, obtained from phlogopite mica, which we collected from juvenile magmatic lapilli in the tuff ring. The tuff ring and phonolite lava flow are at about the same topographic altitude and roughly similar in stratigraphic position, so their similar ages are unsurprising. Additional confidence in the ages stems from having used different mineral phases, sanidine and phlogopite, each of which is potassium rich. Since these two rock units peak out from the base, we consider the existing stratovolcanic cone to be mostly younger than about 340,000 years. Sadly, an attempt to date a nephilimite clast from a tuff breach exposed upslope in the eastern chasm yielded an age much too old, about 1.5 million years. We made two efforts with this sample, getting similar ages from volcanic glass and from a nephilim rich mineral separate made from the nephilimite clast. The 1.5 million year age, impossibly old stratigraphically and geomorphically, serves notice about the risks of excess argon in some volcanic rocks in the region. Odonio Lingai has been the source of several large debris avalanches, with the cone regrowing after each failure. Thus, evidence for the early history of the volcano lies in part in the debris avalanche deposits shed onto the adjacent terrain. Finding materials suitably fresh for dating in these deposits has proven difficult. Our mapping discovered a previously undescribed Lingai-derived debris avalanche deposit that plowed into ancient Lake Natron when the lake's shoreline stood at substantially higher level. We found phlogopite within the large block, something that probably came from an ancestral tuff ring either on the volcano or swept up by the debris avalanche. The age, 793,000 years, is the maximum age of the debris avalanche, which itself must be younger than any of the fragments within it. We also found phlogopite within a tuff layer of a large block in younger debris avalanche deposits, the most widespread of the debris avalanches, and equivalent to the zebra debris avalanche described by Matthew Curvin and co-workers in a 2008 publication. That phlogopite age is 460,000 years. Making sense of the ages of random blocks within a debris avalanche deposit is difficult at best, but we suggest the 460,000 year age and perhaps the 793,000 year age are tied to Odonio Lingai itself. Support for a long live Odonio Lingai comes from revisiting the Old Duvai Gorge area 70 kilometers downwind. It was there that Richard Hay in 1976 interpreted tephras from sedimentary indutu beds as having originated from Odonio Lingai, hence the interpretation that Odonio Lingai began its eruptive history less than 400,000 years ago after deposition of the underlying massic beds. Single crystal laser fusion ages obtained by Palmanega in 1993 from the base of the Ndutu beds suggests at least a 500,000 year age onset for Odonio Lingai. The critical question is whether the tephra in the sedimentary massic beds should also be assigned to Odonio Lingai, not some other volcano. If that's the case, as we suspect, then the Old Dubai Gorge evidence allows onset of Odonio Lingai in the time 860 to 600,000 years ago.